Don't you. <laughs> What is going on guys? Today we are reviewing Jeff Rowley. The part is called Free Dome to Skate. Usually I would be reviewing footage submitted to me by you guys, but this week the two entries that I got, one was Square VX footage and the other one someone sent me a link to their Facebook video. So clearly my instructions are still way too complicated to understand for some people, but we have Jeff Rowley to rescue us, so let's rewind and hit play. Before I checked out this video, I typed on Google, Jeff Rowley age. It says 47 years old, which is very hard for me to believe because like optimistically, I would, okay, come on, can we fast forward? Is there some skateboarding? Optimistically, I would love to be able to skateboard into my late 40s and 50s, but I don't know if it's just because my body's given up on me or maybe just my lifestyle habits, starting off with a kickflip, rolling down the hill, B-roll footage, a blunt slide, big spin, heel drag maybe, I don't know, nose blunt shove. It's one of those things where we would all strive to do this. Then again, I get a lot of people talking shit about me to me on the internet, and I know that most people, like if I make a joke about T-Funk, and somebody goes, I can't believe you would do that. He's the savior of the internet. I know people that are that weirdly passionate about some internet shit are probably gonna quit skating in the next like two or three years. So it's easy for me to ignore you guys. But then you get somebody like Jeff Rowley, who's been skating for, I don't know, what's 47 minus 10, 37 years, 35 years. And it's inspiring in that aspect. I would love to see more skating, less dogs and b-roll. This video is eight minutes long. Maybe we'll be lucky and get four minutes of skating. Anyways, the whole thing of like skaters, not just not just remaining competitive because that makes Jeff Rowley that much more impressive. Uh, same spot, a heel flip. We're gonna get every flat ground trick he knows how to do on the exact same spot. It's not inspiring that he's just still competitive. It's inspiring that he's tic-tac, that he's even still just able to roll. And a lot of you guys aren't gonna understand that until you get old. I know I never did. I got a lot of like old, like old school skaters being like, well, enjoy those handrails while you got them. And I'm like, ah, whatever, old man, you fucking kook. <laughs> fucking old guy skating the balls annoying me again. But uh, turns out everyone who ever thought was like <laughs> old and annoying turned out they were all right about everything. So again, Jeff Rowley being this age and skating at this level, very impressive. We're getting a lot of just dropping in and no slides and flat ground tricks, but he's still hauling ass. We're drawing on shoes like we're uh, like we're still 12 years old. Skating that same spot, going back to the well, huh? Is that the same spot? This one might be bigger. That might have been a different spot. Maybe he only skates spots that resemble one particular shape. We got him pushing, another no slide. We get the, uh, the 180 nose grind in there, rolling down a hill. Half of this part's just rolling down hills. But then you think back to like, uh, the sorry video, that was a lot of rolling down hills too. It's a lot of just going fast and falling down, sliding down, eating shit. I'll tell you what though, this guy doesn't move like a 47 year old. I still don't know if I believe it. It's one of those things where it's like, maybe there's another Jeff Rowley out there that's like a race car driver or something, a retired race car driver for you to tell me. I, you know what, I don't wanna harp on the age too much. Let's just watch the tricks right here. Kickflip grind, a little bit wiggly right there, ducking down, rolling down the hill. How many more hills do you think we're gonna get? Over under on five. I'm gonna hold up my five. Pushing slowly away, celebrating. I feel like this is classic Jeff Rowley part, or at least from my generation, the walking slowly. We gotta get to that eight minute mark. Now what, we're just drawing some shit? Fast forward, please. Uh, okay, that's not the same guy. <laughs> Come on, dude. Okay, 360, rolling down a hill. That was one out of five. One out of five hills. We're gonna get another one. <laughs> two tricks down, two two hills. The impossible tail grab, two hills. <laughs> I, didn't I didn't want this to come off as me talking shit. Another three tricks out of three tricks have all been riding down hills. Now it's gonna act like I'm, like I'm talking shit. It's kinda hard not to, right? 
I respect, you know, how much this guy's done for skating and how inspirational he is, but <laughs> it is pretty easy to poke fun at. Yeah, fuck me. Okay, I'm the one rolling down nothing but hills. And then what? Are we going to get another? <laughs> He's rolling down another hill, dude. Four. Fourth hill out of four tricks. Here we go. <laughs> Don't you dare. Don't don't you dare do another one, bro. <laughs> Hand on the board rolling down a hill. Okay, we, we got to five. Are we gonna get to six? Don't you dare. <laughs> Seven. Please. Oh, oh, it's gotta stop. It's gotta stop. Can I get a manual or something? Or like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Every single clip, bro. <laughs> I get it. It's hard to bomb a hill. I know. Every single clip. <laughs> I tried to count to five. I think we're at either seven or eight now. And we haven't even, you know what? We haven't even gotten yet a non-hill. Shove it nose, like, what a great spot this looks like. A nice new neighborhood, grass everywhere. Another, <laughs> okay, dudes. <laughs> if, if we get any trick in the video part now, from now until the end, any trick that's not a hill, I'm gonna give away some free stickers to, uh, to the first comment. If we get one trick that's not a hill, nose blunt down the, uh, the double hill, two hills, one trick. All right, we still got a minute and a half. That can't be it. Come on, dude. I feel like I didn't even have a chance to review anything. It's mostly just me laughing about accidentally predicting everything that would happen. We'll fast forward. There's got to be more, right? There's got to be one more trick. There's got to be one more trick. Oh, come on, dude. I don't think I've ever laughed this hard during ninja review and i'm not talking shit i'm not trying to talk shit it's just like it's funny that we happened to make one joke and that joke lasted for the entire video i don't even feel like i gave this a fair chance to review because the first half all i did was talk about his age and the second half all i did was laugh at how many hills he rolled down maybe you guys noticed something i didn't notice one thing i do think we can all agree on is this guy is an absolute legend and at this point in his career an absolute inspiration to people like me mainly in the sense that uh it's never over right there's never that final ride where you can't at least progress in some form i mentioned earlier like oh you're not gonna be able to do handrails forever sure maybe not but maybe i'll one day learn the correct way to do a slappy which will be easier on my body but it'll still be something to learn Something to start from scratch, and then build, and then change, and then evolve into a hard trick, or at least accomplishing a goal of some sort. So, I don't know. Inspirational video. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment below. <laughs> Please, somebody out there had to have laughed as much as me. I can't be that disconnected. That's funny. If you didn't laugh at that, uh, maybe you're taking this thing too serious. Anyways, if you would like to submit your footage to me, if you don't, it doesn't matter. We'll just review another pro part later. But if you would like to submit your footage to me, the instructions are very easy. Even though a lot of people can't figure them out, they're very easy. Three steps. Find me on Facebook or find me on Instagram. Send me a DM. Inside that DM, write the words, this is for Ninja Review. Then include a YouTube link, which is located... Listen, I'll explain how that works. The first part of a YouTube link starts with YouTube.com. It's, it's weird because you would think that a YouTube link would start with Facebook.com. It's very complicated. I get them confused all the time. But a YouTube link is actually located on the YouTube website. Also, make sure your footage is 16 by 9 aspect ratio. That means a rectangle. You know that TV that you watch sometimes in your living room? What is that shape again? Oh yeah, a rectangle. I want your footage to be rectangular, right? 16 
by nine aspect ratio so that it matches things like phones, TVs, monitors, YouTube. That's what I want. I check those DMs every single Monday and I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to review more footage from you guys. I hope you're having a great weekend. It's getting really hot out there this week. By the time you guys watch this video, the high in Las Vegas will be like 107, 108, and it's only going to get hotter, which means my skateboarding is gonna go. <laughs> it's gonna get worse and worse because, I don't know, the heat is really, unbearable but for those of you who live in maybe a spot where the heat is not so bad it's no longer winter you can get out there skate film some videos and have a great weekend kuna matata in the arms